This, is meant, this device is meant to be a, pretty much a standalone device in terms of uh, treating people with non-repairable or irreparable rotator cuff tears. You, yes. So you're not even really making an attempt to repair the rotator cuff. You don't, you're not really doing this necessarily, which is a repaired rotator cuff. You're just popping it right in, right? And then, and then that's maintaining the space here exactly. between the humeral chroma. Yep. Right? And then that way you're... The, me the mechanics are right, and are so once the spacer's in and yeah. is depressing your humeral head back into its atomic position, you're re educating your deltoid to overcompensate for your torn supraspinatus. So, why don't they just uh, put this in with every rotator cuff repair as well? So, we've only studied it um, okay. alone. We have okay. um, so you're going to come into your lateral portal, you're going to want your portal typically about a problem, and you're going to bring it in, you're going to line um, this black line with the lateral edge of your greater tuberosity. Ensure that you like your position underneath your acromion. <laughs> the acrylic models are a little slippery. Um, after that, you're going to pop what we call the back stopper off, which is this red part. And so you just press down, pull that back, and then you can pull back the sheath which will expose your implant in the joint space. And then typically you're going to have an assistant, most likely, that's going to fill the balloon. And so we're going to fill it with air today, but you typically would have already filled the balloon with the appropriate recommended inflation volume of saline. Um, and then what you're going to see is the balloon unfold in that subacromial space. And the key thing to make sure before you start to unfold the balloon is that this red safety stop is facing the under the proper orientation inside the balloon. So you're going to fill, there we go, open that guy up all the way. So you so that it unfolds. Um, it's a little funky with air. And so once you've removed a little bit of saline, you would then release this back stopper or the safety stop and then flip this green lever and it's going to lock the balloons.